Hey guys, so today I have my August favorites. I can't believe where this year is going, but okay, we're all thinking it. Let's not go on and on about that. But seriously, it's September 1st. Today's Labor Day, so I hope you all had a really good day. Um, we went to the outlets really quick, and then we went um, to my in-laws for some good barbecue food. And I was just happy to have a day off um, with my husband because usually it's like one of us is working. Usually me because I work in retail. Um, so yeah, so it was nice to just enjoy the day. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with primers. Um, all month long, I've been loving my Miracle Skin Transformer again. I probably talked about this last month, but I don't remember. Um, but I'm still loving it, and it's just a really good primer with a little bit of tint to it. Um, again, this doesn't really have much tint to it, so don't be afraid of getting the medium if you do want to try it. Then the Prestige Primed and Ready Eye Primer. I've been using this all month long too, and it does work really, really well. Um, my eyeshadow lasts all day as long as I use this and then my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on top of it. And this you can get at Ulta for like around $6, so it's really not bad. And the two will last you like forever because you just need a teeny tiny bit. And then for foundation, I've been using this like literally every single day. My Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, I have the shade Light Medium and then Light Beige, which this is from when they had the old color system which is a few colors so I think this is now like light medium honey or something um, so lately since I haven't really been self tanning as you can probably tell um, I'm pretty white right now um, I've been mixing these two together to finish using up the light medium so hopefully I'll still like the light beige um, by itself I'm almost afraid it's gonna look too light but um, hopefully it'll work. Um, yeah, so I've been really loving this. And my skin, now I know for sure that my skin really likes it. So because, can I talk? Now I know for sure that my skin really likes this because I've been using it every single day and my skin's been better behaved lately. So along with the Miracle Skin Transformer and then this, um, as well as some skincare things I've been doing, um, my skin seems to be a little bit happier lately. So yeah, oh, that reminds me. I need to go grab something. Okay, I almost forgot, so I had to run and get these from my bathroom. I always forget things that are kept in my bathroom. So that reminded me when I was talking about skin, but um, recently I went back to using my Shatera Organics Rose Hip Black Soap, and a few times, and then a little more recently, I went back to my Belly Anti-Blemish Facial Wash with Lactic Acid, Green Tea, and Cucumber. Um, you can get this on bellyskincare.com. Um, it's meant for pregnant or nursing moms, but I just got it because it was more natural and I've been trying to do more natural skincare. Um, because in the future when I have kids, I don't want to have to go and change everything and then I want my skin to be happy without using all those chemicals. So, um, I heard somebody talk about, mention that they left this on as a mask, which... You're also supposed to do that with this, and I think um, before I had tried using this in the shower in the morning, but now I've been using this at night, I'll just like get the makeup off and then pat my face so it's like damp but not dripping wet, and then put this on and leave it on for like 5 to 10 minutes. And then a few times I've been doing this, that with this, this too, because it's a thicker gel so it works the same way, and you can both, both of them, you can really feel them working. And so almost pretty much every night when I wash my face, I've been doing one of these on for like five to 10 minutes. And I think it's been really helping um, because I've been getting less active breakouts. So yeah, definitely love both of those. And then I've been still totally obsessed with my It Cosmetics bronzer. And I already hit pan, which is ridiculous, but I still have a ton of product. For some reason, just in that like one spot, was even though I'd swirl my brush everywhere, it was only picking up the product from right there. So I already hit pan for some reason. I don't know, but whatever. I know it's still gonna last me a long time. And then it, um, not it cosmetics, amazing cosmetics pink chocolate. That's what I'm wearing today. I have been literally wearing this like every day this month. I think there was maybe two days I wore something else. When I get obsessed with something, I get really obsessed and then I wear it every single day. So, yeah, 
still love pink chocolate. Amazing, love it. If this and this lasts better on my cheeks than any other blush I've ever tried. So yeah, love it. And then for lips this month, finally after wearing nothing but my NYX butter glosses, I'm finally back into lipstick a little bit. For a lot of the month, I was using um, Cream Cup, which is the perfect pinky nude, more pink. Um, yeah, probably know what that looks like. Just a beautiful everyday kind of color. And then recently I got um, Modesty, which is I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of a more brownish pinky nude. So to me, it's like the perfect fall nude, pinky nude. So I really like it. Um, it's a little bit more brownish without being too brown for me. So yeah really been loving that and it's also a cream sheen both of those are and then i've been absolutely obsessed with makeup geek mango tango um which is right there it's on my eyes right now um that i've been totally obsessed with this too i have a hard time not wearing it every single day i pretty much do wear it unless it's gonna like totally clash with what i'm wearing or something but I just love it and I did just order um, I wanted to get bitten but it was out of stock again so I got burlesque which is similar but with a shimmer and so it's a closer to like a burgundy so I can deepen this up and um, deepen this up a little bit for fall and use the two together so I'm really excited to get that in a few days so totally obsessed with mango tango and also still my um, MAC shaping powder in emphasize I haven't been using a highlight all month because I've just been using that to brighten up my under eyes and I love it so much. Then I wanted to finally include some summer scents. Um, I keep forgetting to include these and I finally remembered um, my favorite. I don't really don't have that many candles. Um, you know, maybe if I had the money to, I'd have tons of candles, but you know, I really don't bring them like all the time because a lot of times I'm gone at work. So I have the Watermelon Lemonade. This is my favorite summer candle from them. It just smells so good. Just really refreshing and fruity, just like it says, Watermelon Lemonade. So that is my favorite. And then I keep wanting to talk about my Scentsy. My absolute favorite summer scent from Scentsy is Yuzu Dragon. I just have a little bit left in here. They like the cubes that you put in a wax warmer. I have a friend of mine, Hannah, sells Scentsy, so I'm able to get them from her. This is like a really just, it's like a strong, fruity, it just, I can't just, I don't know exactly what scents are in it, but it just smells so good. It's like fruit punch, citrusy, I don't know. But it just smells so, so good if you love fruity scents. So that is my favorite summer scent from Scentsy that I've tried. So, yeah. So that is all my favorites. Let me know what you've been loving. Um, I'm definitely excited for fall. I love everything about fall. Pumpkin, everything, leaves. Um, I love the weather of fall. I can't wait for this awful humidity to go away. Um and then colors of fall. I just got this like reddish burgundy super soft stretchy t-shirt at um, Target. It's by Morona and they had like a whole rack of them so you could easily find them at Target. Um, and then I'm just wearing a navy tank top underneath. So I thought this was a way I could start wearing fall colors while it's still kind of really hot out. But um, hopefully it'll cool down soon. I'm really excited for it. So yeah. Um, hope you all had a really good week and a good Labor Day, and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.